All right, good, good afternoon. Once again, I'm coming to you from the Englewood uh, Library branch, uh, grown in New Jersey. And I'm on the amazing fab at Matrix. Okay, we're going to go straight now into uh, some application circuit analysis. Now we know that uh, from every uh, three by three, there's a potential three by three circuit that we could design from this three by three uh, derivative from the amazing five by twelve matrix that we have projected. So I've just uh, make myself some new space here, and just let's, let's take an example. We're going to take an easy example. We're not going to use some these uh, numbers that will uh, prove to be more a uh, relative cubism in the. Uh, calculations, we're going to take some numbers that is relatively easier to calculate. And so here we are, we're going to find a determinant solution for the mesh circuit, I1 and I2. So this is our rather 2x2, two two. and if we draw this 2x2 two two here now, distance, And here we have now, we call this R2, that's equal to 3 ohms. And we say this is equal now to, say, uh, example 45 volts. And that this ohm is now 10 ohms. And it's uh, 88 volts. We assume now that circuit uh, current I1 was going in the counterclockwise sense, or rather the clockwise sense, and that I2 was going also in the clockwise sense. And so we don't see that R11 is equal to R1 equals to 10 ohms, 10 ohms. R22 is equal to R2 equals to 5 ohms. And that's here, R12 equals R21 equals 0 ohms. As usual, now we say now that del or delta was equal to R12 minus R12 R21 R22. If you plug in the numbers here, what we have is. Ten and five zero and zero. And so that's now equal to delta equal now to fifty minus zero equals fifty. If we now go to the numerator determinant. We have V1 is equal now to VA minus VB. And once again, we are coming into from Englewood in the cargo van space in Englewood, uh, New Jersey. And we are applying our amazing 5 by 12 matrix. And and if we make the substitution now, we have now 85 minus 45, and that's equal to 40 volts. And that now V2 is equal to 
and that's equal to four five volts. All right, so we still know that the numerator n one is equal to also v one v two. Minus R one two R two and that's equal now to forty zero forty five five and that's equal now to On the five by five, that's equal to two hundred. Similarly, let's just make some little space here, right here. We find v one two by the same method, and what we'll get is. Ten multiplied by forty-five equals four fifty, and that's volts. I'm finding V. And so, if you find I one now, That would be equal to numerator one over delta. That's equal to two hundred over fifty. That's equal to four amps. The I two is equal to Over delta, and that's equal now to 400 over 50. That's equal to 9 amps. So you will find I1 and I2. And since they have come out both positive, then with the assumption that the current was going in the uh, clockwise sense is correct. If the current had came out negative, then the assumption that the current was going in the clockwise sense would have to be reversed, and it would be have to go in the counterclockwise sense. But since it's coming out to be positive, our assumptions were correct. And so what we have found now from this two by two, R1, we have found I1 and I2, and we have also found some of V1 and V2 are voltages as well. All right, uh, let's move on now to a three by three application. So we'll take a break and we come on to a three by three mesh circuit analysis. I know though that, that the exponential amount of two by two generated from our PDM uh, processing, so that we have for each two by two circuitry uh, a matrix, two by two matrix, then there is a potential design for two by two circuitry. I want to use this example with these numbers to sort of make the calculation more easier. What we could, could uh, also put forward a matrix a program to solve uh, these uh, matrices, two by twos and three by threes and four by fours. So uh, I'm gonna uh, solve one via uh, the three by three mesh analysis. So we'll take a break and return. <laughs> 